What up, counterfeits? Today, we're doing Pringles because who doesn't like the hot dog of chips? Everyone does. That's why everyone loves hot dogs. Minus the sour cream and onion because I only got it because it's green. If you got a favorite flavor combo for Pringles, leave it in the description below. And we might make that next time. Right now, we're just trying to get the basics done. Let's get bacon. It's kind of fringle it. So the plan is to use instant mashed potato as our base, because unlike traditional chips made from whole potato, Pringles are made from some kind of potato paste. And this is probably close enough. Also add rice flour, baking powder, and hot water to the mix. Knead the dough by hand for a few minutes and then let it rest. What you doing, right? Kneading. What you need? Everything. Our original plan was to use a pasta machine to roll the dough thin, but man, without any real gluten development, this dough does not want to hold together. So instead, we rolled it out by hand and cut out little circles. When cooking these, our focus was on taste and texture because we have no way to actually mimic that iconic double parabola shape of the real thing. We tried baking them and frying them, and while they were still warm, we tried adding some curve on a rolling pin. And this was the result. So obviously, the shape, and the color are quite different. Now, these don't look fried to me. And these were not fried, but they're still, still crispy on the edge. I don't know. I think it might've just been a low temp thing. Yeah, this is done. Just go buy them. It's cheaper, it's easier, it's quicker, it tastes better. You didn't do the taste test, how do you know? It tastes better. <laughs> the wrong way to eat a chip. It doesn't make sense. Makes perfect sense. Makes no sense. Makes perfect sense. They make a straddle for your tongue. Why would they, why would you put it in that way? It's the way it goes. No, it doesn't. Your mouth's just not big enough. <laughs> well, that's chewy. And see-through. The edge is crispy. But the center? No. Just didn't, didn't get it. I don't know. And then, then the baked one, That's closer. Still not there. It's got better on the flavor. But just the edge is crispy and the center's not quite there. They have some sort of frying, baking hybrid. Almost like an air fryer. But Dan broke his air fryer, so you can't do that. Look at the look at the texture. Let me get a close up on that one. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, that looks really similar, it's, except for the edges. Mm -hmm. It looks really similar. Try your way. That's the best way, to, it's the only way to eat a Pringle. Why do you look offended? It's the right way. Because it offended my mouth. Oh my god. But mostly the top when it just hits it in a weird way. That's the best way, uh, then, yeah. I don't know what you're into, but you do not eat a Pringle that way. Oh my gosh. Let us know how you eat your Pringles. And what kind? I always go with green. No flavor, just green. These fried ones. Yeah, it's kind of like a taco. Mm -hmm. 